Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined by Steve Nemo from the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. He is the Acting District Wildlife Biologist for the Rogue Watershed. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. So we're talking about this, this uh, wolf report, my, my words, not, not ODFWs, but a latest report uh, saying wolf count in the state is up 10% over last year. Did that surprise you? No, it doesn't really surprise me. Wolves are an animal that's uh, in, re they're basically recovering. They're expanding into new territory. There's a lot of territory they're not occupying currently, so they've got a lot of room to grow. Um, so uh, having the wolf number increase is, is uh, not something that's surprising, and it's actually something we want to see to um, meet the requirements in our wolf conservation and management plan. Where does uh, Southern Oregon compare to the rest of the state as far as wolf population numbers? Well, we've got, uh, we've got uh, one confirmed uh, breeding pair in Southern Oregon. That's really the only breeding pair that we have confirmed in what we refer to as the Western Wolf Management Zone. But still in Oregon, the majority of our wolf population is over in Eastern Oregon, especially in uh, the Northeast uh, corner of the state. Wolves in Oregon, of course, have dispersed from Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, um, and have naturally dispersed through the state. And so all the wolves we have here right now um, in Southwest Oregon really came through that process of moving through Eastern Oregon first and then settling out here. How do you keep track of them? I mean, how, how do you get a handle on this? Do they have monitors on them? Yeah, there's a lot of different techniques that we use to monitor wolves. So the, the most basic one is getting reports from the public. So anyone that sees a wolf, uh, we would encourage them to go to the ODFW wolf reporting page. That gives them an opportunity to upload photographs, tell us what they saw, tell us where they saw it. And that really helps us get a good sense of where the public is seeing wolves. Um, when we get reports like that, then we can go out with game cameras and follow up. Oftentimes we'll call people and, and try and, and talk to them a little bit about what their observation uh, were. In situations like with the rogue pack, we're going to be uh, a little bit later this year, we'll be making some attempts to capture and collar one of these wolves. And the radio collars give us a lot of information. Um, in many cases, we have dispersing wolves. Our wolves have gone to California. Um, of course, the wolves here came originally from eastern Oregon. So we're able to see these animals move across the landscape. Um, we're also able to see um, their, as I said, their specific locations. A lot of these collars have a satellite uplink. Um, mm -hmm. So they're always telling us not necessarily where the wolves are right now, but where they were a few days ago or whenever they had their latest update. They also give us information about mortality, meaning these wolves, just like they're dispersing, they're subject to all sorts of things that would naturally kill a wolf. And so. Um, when the callers um, detect a, a, they're no longer moving, they set mm -hmm. up a mortality signal. We're able to go investigate and see what um, may have caused the death of that animal. Interesting. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Sure. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Steve Nemola from Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. He's the acting district wildlife biologist for the Rogue Watershed. That's Jackson, Josephine, Curry counties, correct? That's right. Yep. Okay. So how many uh, attacks on, on livestock, uh, no, no human interactions to that extent, certainly. How many attacks have you seen from wolves so far this year? Well, we've had a number of attacks on livestock and on uh, domestic dogs. We've had, um, in 2018, we had a total of 11 attacks at the Rogue Pack was responsible for. In uh, 2019, we've had some attacks on calves and one attack on a Mastiff mix uh, puppy. Mm, okay, and, and I guess I think that the puppy, that location is in the Butte Falls area uh, where the rancher also is using those air dancers. People think right. of those as, as something you see at car dealerships. Right. Uh, does that help scare away the wolves? Yeah, it, it can. Um, most of the techniques, and there have been multiple tried on this ranch, including fladry, which is the electrified red flagging around the property, uh, the air dancers, which are the dancing men. Um, we also did a bone pile cleanup out there. All of these techniques are good, valid techniques. They definitely work, but they have a time frame around them uh, in most cases where eventually wolves get, they're smart animals, they get used to things, and so then you have to switch to the next technique. And really, uh, we have one property in Jackson County where most of the damage has occurred, and, and we're working with partners to try and, and find an opportunity to do some electrified permanent fencing around this place now. Interesting, okay, and is that something that's gonna happen or you're closer to that? I think we're pretty close to it, okay. um, but uh, you just have to get all the the pieces in the right places. Okay, um, so we talked about, uh, of course, you know, at the beginning of our interview, the, the wolf count is up 10% mm -hmm. uh, so far. Um, you guys are, ODFW, looking at drafting a new uh, wolf management plan this year. Are you expecting some changes with that? 
Yeah, so we've been in a really a multi-year process now in developing a new wolf management plan. Um, we're going to be uh, presenting the plan to the Fish and Wildlife Commission, and they'll make a decision on adoption. Uh, the new plan should be available for public comment uh, relatively soon, so people will be able to find that online. Okay, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for Thank coming. you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.